Hey, what's up, guys? It's Console, and today's episode 31 of Console Plays Minecraft. And we're hitting in a little tunnel I just built. We're gonna be heading over to the mob storage area just to grab a few items. Excuse me. Um, one quick thing about this area. I'm going to be working on it sometime soon. I just don't really feel like working on it now. Um, that whole platform right there is going to get scrapped. Because I built this little tunnel here that leads back to my base area. Um, I, I just want this little area here to be here. I'm also going to get rid of the storage room as well. It's going to be kind of changed up a little bit. Anyway, the reason why I'm over here is to get some stone to make stone brick. Um, we're going to be working at the end today. And while clearing out some of the space here. You can kind of see. Um, I use a silk touch pick, and we have a lot of stone. Boom! There we go. So now I don't have to worry about really having to furnace up some of this stuff. I can just use silk touch on it. And let's just grab a lot. Just because I can use some of it back at my base if I want to. Uh, that's good. Anyway, kind of seeing this stuff in the inventory. You guys may have gotten an idea of what I'm going to be doing today. You may not have gotten an idea of what I'm doing today. Um, I forgot about that. We need sand. Or sandstone. Crap. Um, let's get rid of some of the stone brick. We're going to be making a little storage area for our ender pearls. That's kind of automatic. The reason why I want to do this is because I'm really getting tired of... Um, well, if you guys have used my enderman farm before... I pretty much have to move all of the ender pearls myself into chest, and it's getting to a point where I'm having too many ender pearls to fit in the chest that I do have in that small area. So we're going to be expanding out the platform, uh, probably down a little bit, and then we're going to create a automatic system to store all of our ender pearls, so that when I kill endermen, instead of the pearls going to me and I have to go and pick them up, they automatically go through the probably soul sand in the floor and two hoppers and they're going to go into the system so yeah that should be pretty good it's something I've been meaning to work on for a very long time it's just I'm kinda lazy and then I forget about it yeah so crap anyway I'm not sure if I brought this up so yeah I said we, I think I said we already have I have the faithful texture pack on uh, that should be good on sandstone I have on a faithful texture pack because I want to see how good it looks in video. Just try to see the video quality kind of increases with it. Because of how smooth everything looks. Just because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of liking Faithful for now. I'm trying to decide if I want to stick to Faithful. Or go back to the default texture pack. And I'm kind of want to stick for Faithful for now. Um, another thing, I'm recording the video on 60 frames per second. I normally record in 30. So let me know. Go back and watch the older video. Um, all the older ones I've recorded in 30 frames per second. Some of them I kind of messed up on the recording, so it may not look that great. And let me know, does this video look a lot better than the previous video recorded in 30 frames? So, I'm just trying to get really good render and recording settings for YouTube. I normally record everything in 30 FPS, and it looks, it looks decent, but I want to kind of have that effect where, hey, I'm playing on PC, and I want to show you guys that I need to get some steak, too. I want to kind of show you guys that, hey, the quality is good, it's better on, well, how am I trying to say this? Since I'm playing on PC, I want the quality to pretty much be better than normal. That's simply what I'm trying to say. And that's going to go for all the games I do, everything from like Bioshock to this and so on. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to test out some stuff. But if you guys already have some really good render settings, or know a video where I can get really good render settings for a very, very good quality... You know, hit, send that to me. Please. Alright, I'm going to be heading to the end now. I just want to grab a few things. Probably throw this in the ender chest. To save some space. And we're going to be heading to the end. Alright guys, here we, in, uh, bah -bah. here we are in the end. Um, at the Enderman Farm. I went ahead and threw this on Peaceful for the duration. I don't know if the whole episode for part of it. It's because Endermen are actually very, very loud. And it's annoying. Um, hopefully I have... Okay, I do. I have blocks under here. So what I want to do is place another platform under this one. Um, and it's pretty much going to store all the ender pearls. So I'm going to have hoppers right here. And actually, if I do get yeah, some lag, probably from the water, if I do this, I can still walk over it. Now if I set it up like... 
So it's there. That will be a full block. Um, if I did this, I could still walk over it. That. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, because these are slabs. I got it. So if I place... If I did something like this. Like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Meh. I think that would be too far down for them. They'll, they'll end up dying if they hit this level. I'm trying to get like an idea of how can I change this to be a lot more efficient so I'm not like looking up, going back and forth. I can just kind of hit them. Um, so the hoppers are going to go right here. So first off, let's go ahead and grab our bucket of water. We're going to go down the side here and probably go down a few blocks. And just to be safe, I should place a chest. Um, let's grab one of you. Put all of my main stuff in a chest. This type of stuff. Just so I won't lose it. Uh, then we have our these things. Eh, I have two efficiency five, so that's good. Uh, we have some ender pearls. Okay, what do I want to use for the floor? I'm thinking about making the floor sandstone. This is a very light colored block, and I really like that. And it'll contrast with the... Oh, no. I may make the floor the this type of block. And then use sandstone for the building stuff. Because it kind of contrasts very well. Uh, so we're going to grab some of this. Boom. This is going to be the floor. So I'm thinking about going down probably about... I don't know how many blocks. So I want to have the stairs on these sides here kind of maybe expand nah I want to get rid of this this here is going to be getting rid of so the stairs are going to be over here you can go ahead and drop down into the void don't need you uh, and I should be able to use the water and create the stairs <clears throat> I'm just trying to prevent myself from falling in the void and killing myself because it's not fun it has happened before I don't like it let it stop. Alright, boom. So stairs are going to go there. Oops, crap. That's a stair I got to get rid of now. Oh, I got it back. Oh, sweet, got it back. So that's going to be one. And then we're going to have... Wait a minute. Oh, I think we're at the lowest level, are we? Let's cut this off. Yeah, we're at the lowest level we can go. I didn't know that. Well, that means we probably do have to... We can't go down any farther. That kind of just completely ruined my plans for this. Oh, well. Um, so they have to be here. I may be able to just run a hopper in the middle. Go on over here and just extend the platform that way. And I can do that. Alright, let's just grab our hoppers and let's start getting to work. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down, try to get it down in a nice pattern to go in that direction. And then we can go ahead and start continuing. I did not know I was down the lowest level I can be. I guess you learn something new every day. Alright guys, I'm back. Anyway, I went ahead and placed down the hoppers and everything. Um, under the soul sand and then went to the hoppers. So I have all of the hoppers pretty much going into the chest here. Uh, that's where this went. So that when I kill the Endermen, all of the Ender Pros that I don't pick up will automatically go into here. Um, and I wanted to set this up with an automatic storage. Uh, but in order to do that, I needed an item elevator because I had the hoppers down here. And since I am pretty much on the edge of the void, I can't go any farther down, I don't think. So I just did this. Now we have to set up the area for setting up the chest and so on. As well as the enchantment table and probably a small little area for the anvil. I'm trying to decide if I should set up like a like an anvil station, pretty much, where I can just get myself an anvil without without, eh, without having to place it down. So the enchantment table, where do we put it at? Put it someplace here. These are ender pearls. Here we go. And the books. Got to remake all of these uh, bookshelves. All 
All right, so the enchantment table is going to be lined up with this here. So I'm going to go back this way. So I'm thinking I'm going to do this. I think it's... It's kind of sad that I don't remember how to set up an enchantment table off memory. So that. Boom, boom. One, two, three. And I'm going to get the other bookshelves and just make it one, two, three. I need three more bookshelves. And I need to add some lighting here. I'm thinking about putting lighting in the floor. Probably glowstone lighting. So let's just... Actually, I should be able to just put a bookshelf right there and this should get me up to level 30. Eh, I'll still put some glowstone lighting, uh, lighting in the floor. Or, I can just put the anvil right here. So I kind of get that set up. And for the ender pearls, I want this to be set up with kind of two sides. Maybe one side, which is over here, completely for ender pearls, and the other side for extra stuff, such as books for enchanting. And I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go ahead and work on this a little bit more and kind of come up with something along the way. But uh, yeah, and then we have the chest over here. These chests are going to be used for the uh, pieces of armor and just things I enchant that I don't want. So everything in this chest here is going to go over there. Let's just go ahead and move this stuff. So I'm kind of a lot more organized. I kind of like this. But yeah, then I need to get rid of all the things in the tunnel here. I used to use a minecart to get over here, but I decided not to do that anymore. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish this up, and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I went ahead and added the chest for the storage room. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of lag now. I get a lag constantly. I think, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, so this is how I kind of how I put the chest. I originally wanted them to be kind of like in rows, so chest here space chest here space and so on but it's really hard to actually put that in here and kind of keep it a symmetrical type of style so that it looks good from the outside looking in um and that's what they need to put this the little enchantment area in the middle and the anvil is here in the back on top of our crafting table um i think one of the main problems right now is the fact that this is just kind of here it's not I haven't moved it yet, but the end of the table is what well, chest is going to be going right there. Um, I don't have a silk touch pickaxe on me right now to actually move it. But yeah, this is just kind of how I want to have this set up. So I kind of want to do some enchanting. Um, do I even have any? Hmm. I need to enchant a chest plate to get a good, pretty much enchantment or protection for. Let's see. Come on, protection for. Son of a. That is the third time, I think. Where do I put the... I need that. Oh, okay. That is the third time in a row I've gotten protect, well, projectile protection and thorns. What? It... Look at that. That's sad. Anyway, um, do I want to do any more enchanting? I kind of want to enchant a pickaxe and a sword. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Hmm... I'm going to go ahead and kill some Endermen and enchant both things. And let's see what we get. Alright guys, we got level 30 the first time. Well, not really first time. And um, I'm going to sound down very low so that these guys aren't that loud. Um, we're going to go ahead and enchant a sword and hope we get looting 3 with probably fire aspect at the same time. Oh my god, what is up with these bad enchantments? I swear. Bad luck. Alright, next we're going to enchant. Um, we gotta get just the chest plate for that. Then we gotta get respiration for the helmet. And my mouse is constantly messing up. In case you guys don't know what I'm trying to do, this is gonna be my survival set of armor. So it's gonna be protection 4, aqua affinity, respiration 3, uh, protection 4, feather fallen, protection 4, and just protection 4 on the chest plate. I don't really know if. Um, I really have anything else to put on these other than thorns, and I don't particularly like thorns. And this is just a crap armor. Alright, now we gotta get level 30 for another time. We're gonna enchant. Let's enchant a pickaxe. I kinda wanna enchant the helmet just because I may get respiration on the helmet. Just, I don't know. Let's enchant the helmet and 
That's probably... Oh, I need to add this to the pickaxe. Never mind. Yeah, let's enchant the helmet. Alright. Alright, guys. We got level 30 again. Let's go ahead and enchant this helmet. Maybe we can get Respiration 3, Protection, and Aquafinity. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Um, let's just see if we can actually combine these together. I probably will be too expensive. Please don't be too expensive. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, what about the other way around? 37? Oh, I gotta get 37 levels for that. That would be perfect. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm also going to enchant some books. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really feel like enchanting any more books, probably. Just in case you guys are wondering how many books I have enchanted. Um, these are the good stuff. I kind of have it sorted out, so... This is the weapon stuff, so, you know, sharpness 4s, a bunch of power 4s, affinity, um, this is aqua affinity for armor, this is tools, so, efficiency 4s, unbreaking 3, silk touch, I'm going to be adding the efficiency, unbreaking, and fortune to this pickaxe, shouldn't cost that much, I should, I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, I just, I need to label everything. Um, I have ender pearls in these chests, probably going the way around to here. And when these fill up, I'm going to be taking them to the main end storage room. You guys may remember that. I haven't been there in a while. Um, and these chests are just for other stuff, like the books. Probably some um, pieces of armor I don't want and so on. And I need to empty this chest. This is just from enchanting a few times. So this works pretty well. I think it looks way better than the last time. I need to um, hide some lighting along this well not hide it but put some lighting around the area i'm probably going to i don't know i don't know where to put lighting that's a really good question i could put it in the ceiling actually i i don't know i could put it like over here in the corners in the ceiling i may do that let's throw some glowstone up there i'm not sure but anyway um, I think this is actually a pretty short episode for today. Um, I expected to be doing a lot more than what I ended up doing. Just, but I didn't know that I'm on the last level at the end. What level is this? Oh, one. Wow, I didn't know that. But yeah, I'm at the last level, so I can't go down any farther. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up rating. I'm going to try to get around 20 thumbs up ratings. That would be pretty cool. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching, and make sure you guys have a great day. Later.